Never satisfied am I in my pursuit of finding the most daunting, time-consuming, painstakingly stupid things to make videos about in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today we'll be getting the biggest house possible in the game and paying for it only using bells that we earn not through selling. This means that the only ways we can earn bells are by money rocks, money trees, shaking bells out of trees, shooting bells out of the sky, and monthly interest. Getting bells through selling stuff at Nook's Cranny is banned, other players giving me money is banned, and any other way that I can earn money through selling or from other people is banned. I want to see how long it takes to pay off all of my home loans which total 6,196,000 bells plus 5,000 Nook miles for my first upgrade from a tent to a house. Let's waste no time. Of course, I'll be starting this challenge on a new island as well, just so we can get a completely fresh start. My starting villagers are Agnes and Sterling, and honestly, that's pretty good. I've definitely had worse than those two. Ah, yes, the future spot of the mansion that will be paid entirely through mediocre means of making money, all things considered. Yeah, that's a good enough spot. Oh, look at him. He's so, he's so young, naive, stupid. He doesn't know the torture and pain he's about to endure. I figured this is an appropriate name for the island, considering the dauntingness that will be this challenge. So the bottom line is 49,800 bells for my first loan, except you get to pay your first loan with miles, which to be honest with you, I wish that I could pay all these loans with miles. So if that's the case, then I should really get around to doing some of the stuff on this island that I get cheap, easy nook miles for, such as drawing on the board. We can only get seven bell bags out of the first money rock using an axe, so it's unfortunate, but this is the best we can do for the first day. Okay, so I have acquired 5,000 nook miles, meaning that this is technically the first house loan paid off, and that was within the first day of playing this game. It's actually pretty easy. It won't always be this easy, though, I assure you. Welcome to the Happy Home Academy. Our goal to berate you for not decorating your rooms. Brings us to your new home loan. That'll be 98,000 bells. 98,000's not too bad. That will probably only take me a few in-game days, but... We'll definitely get to some of the more painful loans before too long. This is the other way of making money, at least like the big ways of making money in this, is going to be the money trees. Money rocks and money trees can usually generate me about 30,000 bells every day, so... Yeah, we should definitely be taking advantage of these golden holes every day. And because of how many shovels we're gonna go through, I'm gonna buy the pretty good tools recipe. That seems like a good use of my nook miles. And also I have to help this rat build a shop. He needs 30 iron nuggets and 30 of every type of wood. I already did the wood, so here's the iron nuggets to build the most useless shop that's ever going to be in this game, considering I'm never going to sell anything. I feel like early on I'm going to be shaking trees a lot for bells, but I'm quickly going to learn that this is a rather tedious process that really doesn't earn me a whole lot, so I'm probably going to do this a lot less as time goes on. Help. Oh nice, the most useless store in the world has opened up, yay! Daisy May, oh, you would make paying off these loans so easy, Daisy May. You are currently witnessing about 50% of what this challenge encapsulates, where I just go around banging every rock on my island until I find the money rock. I've also built all the housing plots that he wants so that I can earn the ladder recipe, just in case the golden spot ends up in a place that I can't access without a ladder, so I took the time to do that as well. And I even went through the effort of furnishing these places so that I can get some new neighbors as well. I don't really think it'll help me at all, but I don't know, I was bored. Seems like every single day that I play, this is the money rock, which I'm not gonna complain about, honestly. It makes the whole process a lot easier. It just now occurred to me that there is an entire Nook Miles mystery island that's dedicated towards money rocks. There's actually a couple different types, but the most common one shows up about 5% of the time, so... It just occurred to me that I could start using my Nook Miles to buy Nook Miles tickets in hopes of finding this island to maybe make this whole process a little bit easier. Yo, Shattered Glasses, let's go, my favorite. Oh good, it's the useless dog who's gonna tell me about her socks in the laundry machine. The day is now April 19th, the second debt has finally been paid off, and honestly this is going a lot quicker and smoother than I thought it would. Hello, I would like to make my house bigger. How much money is the next loan going to be? 198,000. That's not that bad, honestly. Now back to the old grind. Yo, yellow balloon, let's go. Hopefully it has money in it. You can get 10,000, 30,000, or nothing from your balloons. 
All right, so I have 4,500 Nook Miles tickets. That means I have two cracks at two different Nook Miles islands to try to see if I can get Money Rock Island. Come on, island number one. Island number one. This does not look like... No, that's not Money Rock Island. Island number two. Island number two. I got a good feeling about Island Lots. Bamboo Island. So do you know about reactions? Yeah, I know pain. All right, I got another Nook Miles ticket. I'm ready. Island number three, Money Rock Island. Wilbur Baby hit me up with some Money Rock Island. 5% chance, 1 in 20. And that's not Money Rock Island. The date is now April 24th. I have just gotten enough to pay off my third debt. And honestly, I'm feeling all right. I'm doing okay, you know? No Money Rock Island necessary thus far. It'll also keep construction costs down, he says. Oh, 348,000. That doesn't sound like it's going down, brother. Money Rock Island, Money Rock Island, Money Rock Island. Money, it, it's so simple, just Money Rock Island. It's it's actually, Wilbur, just hit me up, hit me up Money Rock Island. <laughs> so since my everyday process is to dig up the golden spot and then plant a money tree there, I've kind of made a forest outside of... I should clean up a bit, shouldn't I? Wilbur, I beg of you, I, I beg, I'm on my knees, Wilbur, begging you. For a Money Rock Island. That's just, it's just not Money Rock Island, dude. So the date is now April 30th. I'm going to put all the bells that I've saved thus far into my ABD account to try to maximize the amount of interest that I get when May 1st rolls over. So let's see how much we get. I hate this game. Come on, money, 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 money. Money, please. I know it's a red balloon, but please give me money, please, I beg of you. That's a basket pack. That's, that's a basket pack. The day is now May 3rd. My fourth debt is just about to be paid off, and again, like, we're less than a month in-game through this challenge, and I, I mean, we're a few loans into it now. I'm feeling okay. I just barely have enough. By 36 bells, I was able to pay off this debt. We could add another room. Let's go. 548,000. I mean, dude, 348,000 didn't take me too long. So, yeah, I think I can do this. Here's an exterior view of the culmination of all of my work thus far. Amazing. Just an empty room, dude. This is the culmination of all of my hard work. This forest is actually becoming so bad that I gotta chop down some of these money trees that I've planted. Come on, money, 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 money. Bells. Cash. Dollar. Please, 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 please. Uh, look how nice and clean this area is now after I cleaned up all the trees. Oh, and look at that. The rain made a hybrid. Oh, cute. The day is now May 19th. I have just acquired enough to pay off the 548,000 bell loan. 758,000 for the next one. I mean, this is getting to be daunting, but I mean, uh, yeah, sure, I guess. It's finally starting to look like a fully built house. We have the dream house stamp, five out of five. We're coming along pretty well. It's a bit empty in there since you don't have much furniture, but the best is yet to come. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will not be decorating this house. Like why? Why even bother? The day is now June 9th and it's finally starting to get to me how daunting this task actually is. 758,000 bells through exclusively Money trees, money rocks, shaking down trees. The rare occasion that I shoot down bells from the sky. This whole thing's starting to get to me a little bit. Why, with a hammer and some elbow grease, we could put a large one-room second story on your house. Of course, adding a whole floor does entail extra construction fees. Oh, God. Oh, God. Seven digits, dude. So, I actually made my birthday for this character, my real-life birthday, which is July 2nd, and, uh... Yeah, we just rolled over to that date, and we're still nowhere near close paying off that one million bell loan. Please be bells inside, please be money, please be money, please be money, please be bells, please be bells inside, please tell me you put bells in the inside of this pinata, please! That's just cupcakes, dude! The day is now July 13th. I have just acquired enough money to pay off my 1.2 million bell loan. I hate myself. I hope that you like this video, because I don't like making it. Like, I'm honestly not interested in owning my own basement. Like, it's really okay. I don't need it, man. I don't need it. Oh my god. I don't even want to look at that number. I don't even want to look at that number. I just took a screenshot on accident. I'm so mad. So, with the basement now built, I've technically built the maximum size house possible, despite not paying off every single loan. But, you know, the challenge was technically build the biggest house possible. Not exactly pay off all your loans, but, uh... 
yeah, I guess that's where we're going to end the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm going to pay off the last loan because of course I will. The day is September 19th. I have just acquired after about eight or so on and off hours of gameplay for this mortgage alone. I have now acquired enough to finally finish paying off the last loan of my house. Not one single Nook Miles ticket that led me to Money Rock Island. I I organically grew every single bell tree that I made. I, I, I cracked every Money Rock that I could find in the game. And through all this hard work and effort, I finally did it. Was it worth it? No. I'm proud to offer you a lifetime of free... Dude, I'm not even going to play on this save file anymore, dude. I don't care. I guess as a way of proving that I didn't sell anything over the course of this entire gameplay, this stamp right here would be filled in should I have ever sold anything to the store, to CJ, to Flick, or to anybody. So, yeah, I guess as kind of proof of my work, there it is. It's not filled in, so I didn't sell anything. I hated this. I hope you enjoyed, though. Thanks for watching. Bye.